Now we're ready to trim the leaf borders. So 18 and a half inches. This guy is for the top or the bottom. So regardless of how you're constructing your quilt, whether you're doing the tall vase or the short vase, this is trimmed to 18 and a half inches and six and a half inches wide. So remember to accommodate. This should be the same finished width as your um, flying geese border that is going to sit along the top. So first off, let's get it trimmed to six and a half inches wide. So we can measure, we should have a, a good four inches between the two borders and that means that we need a, an inch and a quarter on either side of the borders. So, let me turn the rule around this way. So I'm going to put an inch and a quarter on this right hand border and I'm going to kind of even it out with four and three quarters. Let's see. Yeah, we're going an inch and a quarter, five and a quarter. That's where we're at. I'm having trouble reading the ruler. So, but you want to make sure that you're kind of evened out. You should have four inches between, but with the quilting, things are likely to shrink up a bit. So go with an inch and a quarter and five and a quarter and make sure that everything's evened out and that should give you your first cut. Then we can flip that around and we're going to measure six and a half inches from that cut edge. So that's the width. Now we need the length. So we're going to measure it from the center line and you actually still should see a center line marking on the back or use the center of the, the circle right here. Actually, you can go right through the candle looking. I'm going to do it from the back. So 18 and a half inches divided by two is nine and a quarter. So we want nine and a quarter inches and I'm going to go this way. Um, actually, this ruler has this yellow band on either way. Um, so nine, nine and a quarter inches from the center line. And that again, halfway through the circle in the middle. Make sure that you've got everything nice and square. And trim a little bit off there. Then we're going to turn it and we want eight and 18 and a half inches along making sure that all of the ends are square. Now then, remember I had on mine an eighth of an inch that I need to trim off. So I'm going to trim at this point and let me go onto the right hand side here or the right side here. I am going to use my ruler to figure out where halfway between that eighth of an inch is. Now you may not have to trim off an extra eighth of an inch, um, but if you do, then you wanna kind of um, trim it off evenly at both ends. I haven't come across any machine that is stitching out longer. Um, we've only come across the machines that are stitching out, um, kind of shrinking things up just a little bit, so. That's the one end and now I can trim to 18 and 3 eighths. So remember you're only doing this kind of fine tune trimming if your flying geese units did not stitch up exactly 
or could not be trimmed exactly at 18 and a half. So those guys are now exactly the same length, which is what I wanted. Let's have a look at this guy. So this is the side panel or the side leaf border for, um, for the short vase quilt. So again, we're going to trim it to six and a half inches wide. Let's see, so we're gonna go one and a quarter inches in from this border, which should put us a five and a quarter inches on the other side down here. I'm going to even out the difference. Let's see, we are good there. So that's the one side. Six and a half inches from that cut edge. That slipped, the ruler slipped. That's not good. Try again. Okay, that is six and a half inches wide. And this is where you go to your instructions to find out how tall this should be. So for the tall vase quilt pieced with quarter inch seams, it's gonna be 28 and a half inches tall. Actually, it's gonna be 28 and a half inches tall however you're putting the tall vase quilt together. And for the short vase quilt, it's going to be 22 and a half. And remember, if your flying geese border, your corresponding flying geese border, not that one, this one has been um, adjusted ever so slightly, you need to trim this to match this. So we're going to go with the 22 and a half inches to start out with. I'm gonna do this one from the front. So 22 and a half, half of that is 11 and a quarter inches. So let's put the ruler so that we're right on the line here. And I've got my 11 and a quarter inch mark going through the candle wicking stitches on this center circle. So I am good to trim there. Then I can flip that around and 22 and a half inches, making sure that we are good all the way along. There we go. And remember, if your flying geese border came up a little bit short, you got to trim this guy to match. So I am about an eighth of an inch short, so I am going to do a, let's see where we're we going, a little bit off one end. Flip that around and now we're going to go with a little bit of the other end. Now if you're not exactly at an eighth of an inch, which mine was pretty much exactly at an eighth of an inch, put your two borders side by side and trim them, um, kind of tr trim them trim them that way. So if you've got that there, you can align the ruler here and just trim to match on both ends. So that is the flying geese borders trimmed up, the leaf borders trimmed up, the square, uh, diamond and square borders we already did. So that leaves the center panel and let's get that trimmed up.